pull over one, and before I actually get into the video, we recently reached 5,000 subscribers. 5,000 people saw my content and found it worthy for my content to appear in their sub box. I know every YouTuber does this cheesy th thank you to all their fans, but seriously, thank you. I remained unnoticed on YouTube for about three years, literally no one watching my videos, and I felt like the YouTube algorithm was against me, which it was, but my GD content changed everything. This is all for another video, but I never expected to get 1,000 subs, and here we are with 5,000. Thanks so much, and the 5,000 subscriber video that would only be appropriate is how to be a good Geometry Dash YouTuber. So these are tips on how to get noticed and how to make good content for Geometry Dash that I learned over time. And I know I don't have much experience as a well-known YouTuber, but if I did follow these tips three years ago, I would have been noticed more quickly when I started. I had no idea what I was doing before I even start. It's every day, bro, without the Disney Channel Club. Three subs on YouTube in six months. Y'all ain't subbing, bro. Before you even start being a Geometry Dash YouTuber, the first thing you need to know before you do anything is that's much harder than it looks. I think this applies to all YouTube channels, but I've seen many kids that are like, you got a job when you make money playing video games? Awesome, I'd like to try that. But when they start, they find out their content is pure garbage. And this applies to GD as well. You can't really expect yourself to become famous if your content is at partition level. You can't think to yourself, why am I not getting many views on my level videos if partition has 100,000 subs and is doing the same thing? That's just not how it works. Getting noticed on YouTube is always an uphill battle. The bottom line is that it's much harder than it looks and it requires way more effort than you think it takes, so don't be afraid to spend hours on a video because that's a good thing. There is a lot of content in the Geometry Dash community and choosing one thing is hard to do. My content revolves around scripted videos where I write a script and voice over it. Now, one thing you should definitely not do when making videos is to have your content be all over the place, because that was definitely me about 6 months ago, that was what held me back from getting views. I spent the same amount of effort making videos, those videos being on the Herobrine Craft channel, link in the description, but those videos were all over the place, and if you're wondering about how many views those got, I was lucky if I got 50, so literally no one cared about them. When you start a Geometry Dash channel, you need to have a certain type of content in mind and stick with it. It's really hard to sometimes. For example, people watch my channel to learn about certain players in the community and to know my opinion on things. So if I were to make a video about fidget spinners or 1000 degree knives, those videos won't get many views because my audience is used to seeing Geometry Dash. So another thing that isn't required but helps is to have one type of video on your channel that you spend extra effort making and at the same time becomes really popular. I don't know if that makes sense, but for me it's my top 10s. There are a lot of top 10s in the community that require no effort to make, but I try to at least do a decent job on them. A good way to choose your content is to take inspiration from others, but only from certain people that you find entertaining. If you stumble across a Geometry Dash video that you do not find entertaining, then don't take inspiration from it. Remember, the more original your content is, the better. I'm really picky with ideas for videos, but when a good idea comes into my head, I do it. So, for my experiences at least, originality can determine your reputation online. Yeah, I'm talking about you, you, ask yourself for stuff, I'm not famous, rich or cool. Both effort and entertainment value are super important and are both what makes people want to watch your videos, so I'm putting this into one topic. I remember I was just watching some typical Geometry Dash content one day and stumbled across a video called Ice Finger Dash Geometry Dash 2.1 and I just took a step back from it and said, is this even entertainment? This took no effort to make and it just took a blue color filter. Why am I even watching this? I watched Finger Dash a million times. And that is what you have to do with everything. Take a step back at your work and look at the viewer's perspective. Will the viewer think that this is entertaining? And as I said earlier, you need to spend hours on each video if you want people to actually watch it. If you think you can make a God Eater montage and be famous, you're probably right. But you wouldn't do that if you actually care about the viewer and the entertainment value of the video. And don't think you need the gear or anything. You just need to have some gear and it's definitely not the most important thing either. I don't use a professional editing software, I use Corel which is 60 bucks. Depending on your content, expect the editing to take a long time, like hours. When you spend effort in your videos, people will see that. Showing off your personality is not mandatory, but it definitely makes more people want to subscribe to your channel. And it sort of depends what content you make, like if you make level gameplays, it's kind of hard to show off your personality. But if you just put an occasional joke in your videos, that's showing off your personality. For example, Etzer is really funny and makes jokes about begging people to rate your level. Tressa showed off his personality by making fun of himself with nerfing Yata Garasu. I actually have to respect him a lot. And don't forget Riot with his reactions. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! 
If you're more personal with your audience and be known for copy and pasting or loving triple spikes or making that despacito layout, then people will like you and your videos more. I suggest not to use text within the video because people may see that video and may like it, but they don't really see you as a person that way. Now, what I do to show my personality is to voice over my videos rather than just putting text. I find it way more personal with my audience and it's like I'm talking to my audience. Not really much to say here, so let's move on. US is where I'm from. No, I'm not from Canton. I don't have any clue. Wow, I'm really straying away from being a Geometry Dash YouTuber and more so of a gaming YouTuber, but that's fine I guess. These following tips are for gaming YouTubers but also work with Geometry Dash. So first of all, don't use any cheesy text transitions or effects. If you use Movie Maker or iMovie or any crappy free editor, I'm using Movie Maker to prove my point right now, chances are you started editing videos when you came across these and thought it looked good, and that's definitely not the case. When you use these, you make it obvious which editor you used and that's not what you want. It really shows. Just use a simple title, you can't go wrong with it. Secondly, if you have a part of a video where nothing and absolutely nothing happens, cut it out please. Even speeding it up still shows that nothing just happens. Like, sorry for criticizing you, Flub, but when you look at one of his Flub vs. Fans videos, there's always that chunk of time where nothing happens. Just time your cuts well, please. Next, don't put in copyrighted music. I almost forgot to say it, but there are a lot of artists who make music for Geometry Dash, but they copyright their songs. If you want copyright free music, here are a few uncopyrighted artists that are big in GD right now. Finally, always play your video from beginning to end because chances are you made some mistake along the way and people will criticize you for doing it. This isn't really an editing tutorial, so those are the best tips that I can give, editing wise. My main tip for growing your channel is to not expect anything. When I first started making videos when I was 12, I thought I was going to get so much attention and I was going to get hundreds of thousands of subscribers and everything that I made was just perfect. But that was of course not the case. My advice for growing your channel is to not expect anything and just do what you actually enjoy doing. Don't clickbait a lot, but I find it okay if your thumbnail title is appealing but not go out of your way to make clickbaity thumbnails. If you do Geometry Dash just for views and money, then I'd rather you start a GoFundMe or Patreon and not use YouTube as a tool to get money. Use money as a motivation to get better on YouTube. For example, I'm using all the revenue I've gotten to get FL Studio, and I'm getting it in two days. I know I'm going to go on a tangent here, but I'm posting the music that I make and possibly music related videos on my channel, and that'll probably be my plan for when Geometry Dash dies, but back on topic. Advertising your channel to get noticed is probably one of the stupidest things I've seen. Just don't do it. But the bottom line is to do your best and do what you enjoy doing. Anyway, so those are the best tips that I can give, and again, thanks for 5k. Sorry this video came out late, I felt kind of demotivated to make this because I didn't think this was my best work. If you found this video informative, make sure to leave a like. I wish all of you guys a great 2018, and as always, this is GD Floroni signing out. Bye guys.